Hi, so we're back for the third part of Notion tutorial. So today we're going to talk about variable or in Notion you call it let. So if you have used uh, other programming language before, so variable usually just like a replacement. For example, you can type something like my number equals to 5 or maybe my birthday equals to 30 or something something. So it's like a placeholder. So in math, it's like x, y, z. So basically that's variable. And in Notion, it works very similar. But then also there's like differences. So I'm going to kind of explain to you how it can work. So in, in here, so basically I'm just showing you a database for, it's actually one of my client database that I use for my uh, counseling clients. So I'm preparing for like a more in-depth version. So how I can combine between uh, let, map, and then also find. So map and find. So map is actually basically like a rule up of Notion, but using formula. And then find is basically like similar to VLOOKUP in Excel. But there's another tutorial that we'll go through. But today, let's just focus on variable and let, just to make it simple. So here we have a database. So Mr. Bean, Jackie Chan, and then Pikachu. So these are the clients, and then their age, gender, occupation. So it's not that important for today. But for example one, so here we have uh, one example where you can use let. So let my variable one, comma, one plus my variable. So it results in two. So whoa, what is this right? So let me just show you an example of what let is actually is. So here, let's just type let and then open bracket. So you can see in for notion part, how they explain let is that. So you need to put a variable here, basically X, Y, Z, and then value. So what does the value variable stands for? And then the expressions. So you might not know what expression is. I got confused as well at the beginning, but I'll kind of walk you through. So basically now that we have this and then just do shift enter, so this is actually a big, uh, new function for Notion. You can kind of like enter it just to make things a lot more spacious and more prettier, easier to read. And then first we want to type our variable. So uh, maybe I want to kind of know my age, right? So I just type my age. Okay. And then this comma, make sure you always have a comma here. Next, they want to know the value. So the value, maybe I want to reference to this age, right? So you can just type out uh, age. You can see this, this is the age property. And then make sure you do a comma as well. And then at the down here, we can just type out my age. And then basically you're going to get the same thing. So 68, 69, 27. So you're kind of referencing your own properties, but I don't want to kind of do that. Like there's no point there. So let me just remove this. And then just to show you, we can actually just type one plus two equals three. So the reason what they meant by expression, let's just go back here. Hopefully you can get to see that. Uh, Okay, expression expected. So basically what we mentioned earlier, what expression is, right? So you can think of expression is uh, basically how you normally type motion formulas without all this let thing uh, to bother you. It's basically just like you can type whatever you want. So my age is then plus and then my age. And then you can see my age is 68, 69, 27. So basically this is just what you normally type formulas. So if you imagine like at the top part, it's basically where you have your variables and then bottom is just whatever you want to type. So this is basically your expressions. So in this case, like my age is age and then my age, how many numbers? So why, why do you need to use variables, right? So there are a lot of different uh, applications you can use, but one of the most obvious ones is that you can kind of keep information short and then concise. So in this case, like maybe I want to change this age uh, into different colors. Uh, so you can use this uh, new formula called style. And then I just want to change maybe what a blue color and then just click enter and then I can see all then change to blue. So age dot style blue. And then you can see from here as well, my age is my age. So it just makes it more easier to read. So I don't have to go basically in the past it's probably like you have to do like my age is and then you have to type your name and the age and then you have to put a style. But in this case it's already done in variable and then you can even do something longer. I'm not sure. Maybe you want to slice. You only want to show one character from it. Doesn't make too much sense, but oh, slice is only for text. Okay, then never mind. So maybe you want to do like minus one. Let's see. Does it work or not? You can't do number on the text. H. Let me try another way of doing it. H dot minus one. Uh, you can do it as well. So 68, 68. 67, 68, 26. So basically kind of do like calculations as well. It's just like clearer. 
So I think you can still do a style here if I'm not wrong. Huh, interesting. So in this case, probably want to kind of do something like this then. Format dot style. Okay. So then we kind of have the numbers as well. So this is one of the applications on why you want to use variable. And then next we have the second example here. So you can see this is let's. So other than just allowing you to set one variable, right? You can just set multiple variables. So in this case, let me just remove this. And use let's. So let's see what they say. So let's variable value, variable value, variable value expression. So the idea is that we can have a lot of variables. So first variable maybe equals to apple. Okay. And then we a comma and then just space it out. Second variable. And then maybe banana. Then comma. And then you can have the expression what they want. So maybe first variable plus second variable. Huh. Interesting it's not showing up. Did I type? Oh, yeah, didn't have the close bracket. So there you have it. You can have two of these. And then if you want to highlight in between, you want to make changes, you can just do something like this. And then you can have the spacing here. You can do like minus. Yeah, you can do a lot of different things like just to keep information very simple. And then in the in the past, it's like when you have a very long formulas, right? You kind of have to change one by one, right? So the good thing about this is just you can just change from here. So apple plus i don't know orange so that's it you can only have to change one place so it's just very convenient and then just need to know that expression basically just whatever you used to do in formulas but just that now you have upgraded to have variables in here and then we have example number three so i won't go into too much details for this one i have prepared another video for more at once application on using maps and uh fine but in here this is actually one of the main reasons why people want to use variables is that you can actually reference like row ups. So here I can kind of reference, you can see variables. So variable one, and then I just type this current date and then current date. So this is basically just showing the dates, but then variables two, I can do like current month and then kind of do like format date, current dot date, month, 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 MMM, which if I reference current month, right? This is kind of how it's showing. If I change this to current date, right? It will just show the traditional dates. So you can see that like, it's just very flexible when it comes to like changing what I want to use. Of course, there are more use, use cases on how you can apply this, but that won't be for today's uh, video. So yeah, I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching. Bye.